You're listening to Customer Growth Sessions, presented by Intergrowth, where we talk through strategies to help up-and-coming e-commerce businesses bring in more customers. I'm your host, Pat Ahern. Let's jump in. So our team talks about SEO on a daily basis together. For us, a lot of the concepts that come into play seem second nature. Reality is SEO is confusing as hell. We like to simplify it. Yes, there are hundreds of different factors that come into play that influence how your site ranks on Google and other major search engines. The reality is SEO can be simplified into much broader concepts that encapsulate the key themes that, if focused on, are going to lead to your site performing extremely well in search. So buckle up. I like to refer to this as the SEO road trip. Let's imagine for a second we're taking a cross-country road trip. Let's say in the United States, we're going from San Francisco to New York City. We're hopping in the car. We're sitting in the driveway. There are going to be three core things that we're going to be thinking about as we make this drive across the country. And these are the exact same three concepts that we're going to be considering when it comes to how to scale our business through SEO. The three things we're going to be focusing on the road trip is, first of all, going to be figuring out what direction are we going and what's the final destination that we're looking to go to. I guess in modern days, taking a look at your GPS, figuring out what highway are you going to end up hopping on, what general direction are you going, and then what's the end destination that you're looking to end up in. Now, in the world of SEO, we can apply that same overarching GPS mindset in a term that we refer to as relevancy. Now, relevancy in the SEO world is really all about just making it straightforward for search engines to understand what your website is about. So let's go back to your car for a second. You're driving from San Francisco to New York City. You don't need to know on day one of the road trip exactly what the address is that you're going to in New York City. And you don't need to know the highway that you're going to take in order to enter New York City to begin with. What you do need to know is you need to know that you're generally going east and you need to know which highway you're gonna hop on to start the road trip. So similarly in the SEO side of things, with relevancy, we don't need to figure out every single detail from day one of building our website. In fact, if we're sitting there too long in the driveway trying to program our GPS, we may see that some things change over the course of the time it takes us to get all the way to that end destination and we need to reprogram things anyways. Our belief is you're far better off if you're working with a brand new site or at the very beginning of your road trip. Instead, starting out by programming the core relevancy elements into your website to begin with, knowing that a lot of this is going to change as your business evolves. So some of the key elements that come into play with relevancy are going to be what you'll hear is the traditional on-page SEO elements. These are going to be things such as optimizing your title tags and meta descriptions as well. Title tags in particular to give search engines a better understanding of what individual pages are about meta descriptions to make it easier for users when they see your page in the search engine results page to understand what to click on. Other elements that are going to be key coming into play there are going to be URL structures that you use for individual pages on your site. Header tags, so H1 through H6 tags that you're choosing to use on each individual page. A copy that you're actually putting on the web pages of your site. And that in particular is really going to come into play when it comes to the blog topics that you're choosing to write about and how relevant they are to your overarching business themes that you're looking to rank for. So second core area is when we're starting out the road trip, we definitely need to make sure that we have some gas in the tank. Uh, If we don't have gas in the tank, we're going to end up having a really miserable trip pushing the car to the gas station until we can fill up the tank and actually start hitting the highway. In SEO, we have a very similar concept in the realm of authority. So with authority, we like to say that this can be really simplified into how trustworthy are you in search engines like Google. There are a lot of things that have evolved in the past couple of years with Google's evolution of EEAT and then some other areas. But ultimately, authority can be thought of in terms of how trustworthy are you to search engines. The more authoritative you are, the faster you're going to be able to go on the highway. We can think of it as the quicker you're going to be able to get a brand new web page to rank on your website. So some of the key things that are going to come into play with authority are going to be doing things like getting other high quality websites to link back to you. If you are a local business in particular, so let's say you're a business that is focused on getting a lot of foot traffic to your physical store. Or similarly, if you're a business that is just really reliant on customers within a specific geographic region, whether it be your city, your state, one of the big things that will come into play there is the quality and quantity of total reviews that you have from all sorts of different local sites, whether it be Yelp, Google My Business, 
you name it. So in terms of authority, best places to start out, if you are a national brand, focus on getting high quality sites to link back to you. If you are a local business, focus on getting better reviews and getting more reviews from your customers on a regular basis. And for both parties, especially now in modern day SEO, what's becoming increasingly important is showing other signals to search engines that you are an expert when it comes to areas in your specific industry. One of the best ways to do that is doing things like going on podcasts, sharing quotes in expert publications that showcase your expertise in your space, writing industry leading articles about nuanced topics that you experience on a day to day basis that a typical reader would be able to encounter and see that you are someone who truly understands your area of business. Ultimately, all these things are going to help search engines to better understand you and are going to help you to rank higher in search. The third key thing that comes into play is going to be what we call crawlability. In terms of a road trip, we can think of this in terms of as we get on the highway, we start driving along, we get a week into the road trip, there are going to be some little engine maintenance type things that come up. At first, it may start out with a couple thousand miles in, you're needing to replace your engine coolant, you're needing to add more oil to your tank. All these things are going to be certainly scaling up over time when you get into things such as needing to change your timing belt or your timing chain and much more. Similarly, with your website, when you start out, your site might be in a really good starting point. You might have worked with a really great web developer. They've built your site and put it in a great standing for the amount of traffic that you're currently seeing. As your site scales and as time goes on, though, your site is going to start to show signs of wear and tear. And there are going to be things that need to be done in order to routinely maintain your website, let's say. Whether it is things like fixing broken links on your site, fixing broken pages, doing things that are going to improve your site speed, whether it be doing things like delaying the rendering of JavaScript on your site, compressing image file sizes so that it loads in a faster period of time for your users and for search engines. So all of these things together are what we refer to as crawlability. Sometimes you'll hear the term technical SEO for those. We like to say this is all about making it really easy for search engines to navigate their way through your site. And it's also about making it just really pleasant for the user to enjoy your website and find the content on it without too much trouble. So some of the other key things that will come into play in the area of crawlability are going to be doing things that I refer to as indexability optimization. Really just making it straightforward for search engines to understand what are the core pages on your site by creating a sitemap file. And then doing things like updating meta robot settings in your robot text file so that you're making it easier for search engines to understand which pages should and shouldn't be indexed, and then which pages should be crawled or should not be crawled as well. All three of these things together will cover every major area of your SEO strategy as your business grows. So buckle up, time to hit the road for the SEO road trip. Thanks for tuning in to Customer Growth Sessions. If you found it helpful, subscribe and give us a review. It helps us to grow the show. Looking for more SEO guidance on how to grow your business? Contact us at innergrowth.com slash estimator or email me directly. You can reach me at pat at intergrowth.com. That's all for today. We'll see you again soon.